Hello. Yeah, hello. Yes. Hi. Yes, my yeah, friend. Yeah, this uh, Christian Prince, yeah? Yes, absolutely. You are live on air. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, okay. Um, so you're saying Muhammad Hijab is a liar. That's what you're trying to say. I'm not saying the scholars saying that. Your prophet saying that. The Quran saying that. All your scholars saying that he has parts. Muhammad Hijab, he said, who said so? Okay, where does he say uh, he has parts? Where is this? Oh, those video in front of you, you can watch them. Which one you okay, want? Okay, so so Muhammad Hijab, he claims Allah has body parts, but no, no, doesn't he, no, he, say he, did, in the no, he deny, no, he deny. You are trying he denies to, prove, it. yeah, you try to prove to me that Allah has body parts. I understand, but he he did not agree with you. He says, who said so? He's saying this is a lie, and you are oh, calling me, either. yeah, and you are calling me to say Allah yes had a body part, right? So Muhammad Hijab is lying, obviously, according to you, not according to me, because you just said Allah has part, uh, parts. Yeah, that's true. So he's a liar. Then Muhammad Hijab is an idiot and he's a liar for saying that. Okay, but what? He, why? He's, right? Why he's saying that, my friend? You are a Muslim. And you are calling me. You thought he he said that he, this is why he will call me. You thought he said yeah. that uh, Allah has parts, and you call me to prove that. But now, because I explained yeah. to you that this is the opposite from what you thought, he said no, Allah does not have body parts, and you agree now he is a liar. But why do you think he is lying? I think he's lying because he wants to get famous, and you know he's trying to make something up that's not true. Okay. So, but uh, I mean, okay, get famous by lying, people will laugh at him. Yeah, but I think also the debate that he had with David Wood, he also lied there when he said Allah prays. And like, obviously, uh, he mixed up David Wood's uh, argument, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Because David Wood, he says uh, Allah would, uh, 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 that Allah, he pray on the Prophet. Uh, they, he pray uh, on the Prophet, uh, yeah. Hijab, he said Allah, he pray for, not to. Do you agree with him? No, no, I don't agree with him. You are a Muslim, right? Yes, yes. Okay, can you say Shahada so people will be sure that you are a Muslim? La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay, so you are a Muslim for sure, and you are saying hijab is lying. Okay. Yeah. What? But why he is lying all over? I mean, why he? What? What the point? Well, the point is he wants to create confusion, and he's uh, basically what David would. He was making a good argument. And you know he ridiculed David Wood, and you know I have respect for Christians. Although I must say that uh, so CP, you're Christian, right? Uh, yeah, um, some some uh, people okay. think I'm so, Hindu because I like beef. What What do you think of the the Torah? What do you think of it? Uh, this is the uh, the book of uh, you know our book. It's part of our book. Part of your books, right? Uh, yeah. So do you know in the Torah what it calls? Arab people, what does it call them? What is called them? You tell me. I'm they learning. call them Pere Adam. That means wild beast. Hmm. So he's calling your own people wild beast. Hmm. Where, where, you know? where it says that? Where it says that? In, it says it in Torah. In where, the where? Five books of Moses. Where, where? Five books of Moses. Okay, where? Where? Oh, I can bring you the, uh, the friend, thing. You got a wrong uh, understanding. You are talking about the children of Ishmael. The children of Ishmael are not the Arab. We are not from Ishmael. Ishmael, his mother is so Egyptian. My friend, the, the, the Ishmael, his mother is Egyptian. His father is Aramaic. How the son will be an Arab? To make it simple for you, you are a Chinese. You marry a Japanese. Your son is Egyptian. Does it make sense to you? No. Right? No, no, it doesn't. No, no. So this is not about. No, but, this is not about the Arab. This was about the children of Ishmael, and Ishmael is not an Arab, and he is not the father of the Arab. However. The, 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 the Bible when the Bible speak about something this is a prophecy about what they will be that we be wild people people who like war and warrior that's not nothing wrong with it this is a prophesying about what they will be what about your prophet who says that the black people will go to hell <clears throat> well but, but, okay if he said black people will go to hell how come he had a, 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 a companion uh, Bilal who is also he is a not a companion here he, he was a slave how you can call him companion slave. what kind of a companion he is the one who clean your dishes and you order him to change your diaper is that a <laughs> companion yeah yeah but okay how come he treated him like so fair like he never he, was, he uh, never treat him slave. fair he never treat him fair he order him to wake up for him in the morning so to call to the prayer because all the white Arab are asleep and he is the only slave there who is being yeah. given order? He's not. He's not treating him nice. Yeah. Hmm. 
But, I mean, if you compare it to how black people were treated before, you know, Muhammad Sallallahu came. How black and, people were treated before Muhammad? Muhammad was raping black people. And Mary the Cop, she is an Egyptian, she's an African, he was raping her. So is that a nice treatment? Yeah, okay, I agree that's, that's wrong. And okay. Although, if I don't think Muhammad did that. I mean, what's the source? What do you mean Muhammad did that? No, I can show you. Here we go. There's a chapter. It's called the chapter of At-Tahreem. In the chapter of yeah. Tahrim, Muhammad, his wife, she got him busted. He was sleeping yeah. with Mary the Copt, and he make an oath because he's a false man that I will never do that again. I promise you. After he made the promise that he will not do it again, he got horny again to sleep with this slave. So he broke his mm -hmm. oath and he said, Allah told him to break the oath. Mm. Mm. What do you think? So, so he did break his oath with what he's saying Allah told him not to do yeah Allah told him no Allah told him why you yeah. are taking an oath about what I made lawful for you but there is no verse yeah. in the Quran it says if somebody gave you a slave as a gift you rape her yeah. hmm. so what we do right. now? Hmm. but then okay but then what about also where in the hadith it says if you have uh, you know a woman from Wabu you're allowed to do anything with her so like you know if you Capture a female slave. You're, you know, it's permissible to uh, do it. Yeah. See, to like okay. The the hadith and the Quran says it's a uh, uh, yeah. it's allow for you to rape a woman you capture from war. But Mary the Copt, yeah. she was not captured from war. So where is the source that she is lawful for him? The Quran says a woman you capture from war you can rape her. Right. And this is authentic uh, hadith. This is Quran. Not only hadith. Quran and Quran. hadith. Oh, Quran I didn't and know this the Quran says that. whatever you own in your right hand process this is from war but Mary she yeah. is not from war Mary she was a gift where her cousins sent to Muhammad yeah. a free shipping and handling to his door and he accept and he start raping the women and he took the male as a slaves as, as the same as the rest yeah uh, I mean like so he took so was she his wife or was she his slave she was, like, was no, the, she was his slave. She was just his, he, she was his companion as a slave. She was his in companion. The, in the bed, you know, which means like, what they call it, like a mistress. Mistress, yeah, yeah. For yeah. fun, um, yeah, for fun. Yeah. Well, if that's in the Quran, then that must be true. You know, I can't disagree with what the Quran says. Yeah, but, but, so, uh, you know, okay, you, you know what? Uh, I'm really, I'm really confused about you. Uh, yeah. Is Islam is a good religion? You know, I have very uh, doubts about Islam, you know, like um, <laughs> certain things I can't explain and I've not had answers to explain them. So I, I can say it's good in some ways, but in also some ways it's quite uh, wrong. In What uh, is good know. about Islam? Give me the good for first. The good base, okay, like it teaches people to, you know, to worship one God. It teaches... Uh, okay, I have, I have, I have, I have, okay, so hold on. If somebody says to me you worship one God that make it make the religion yeah. good. I mean, what about the point if what if there is 1,000 God that will not change anything if God is one he's one if he's two he's two if he's three he's three we have to accept what he is or what what what, right. what, what there is so making a big fuzz about okay we worship one God this is not a big deal the Egyptian worship one God there's many religion worship one God the Christian worship God uh, one God the Jews worship one God so what uh, there is many religion fake religion they worship one God one idol so yeah. Okay, the number doesn't make any difference. But what about if he's real or not? If uh, if it's real, you mean that if the religion? Yeah, is if real. the religion. What important is is this religion? Okay, is but real? then what about the scientific proofs in the Quran? Like okay, uh, like what? Give me iron, one. Give me from, one. Give me one. Which one? Iron come from the sky. Iron. Iron come from the sky? No, my friend. Iron does not come from the sky. The scientists don't say what the Muslim says. The scientists they say like a, a, a good part of the crust. The crust, yeah. the top of the earth, is uh, iron, is coming from the sky. But the magma is all of it is iron. Mm. And a human being, and look what the Quran says. The Quran yeah. says, At Allah, He sent the iron for the man, for as a as a tool of war. Yeah. Correct? Okay. Which means the man was exist before the iron. Mm. So Allah, He sent because when you say we send it down to the man, okay. Yeah. Then that's mean the man is there. Okay, what Allah he sent down. Let us read together. This is the verse, chapter 57, verse number 25. We verily yeah. sent our messenger with the clear proofs 
and revealed to them scriptures blah 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 and then he says to mankind observe right and he sent down revealed as far as I mean it's, I mean look look at the translation since when revealed the iron will be revealed is it inspiration <laughs> so and he sent down the iron <laughs> wherein is yeah. mighty power huh so he sent down to the mankind so the mankind was there and Allah he sent the iron Mm. But the iron, the iron is so, exists in our blood. We have iron. You see, if you have deficiency in your blood in the iron, you will oh die dear. immediately. Mm. So iron must be exist before we are created. Otherwise, yeah. we will not be exist. Secondly, the magma is full of iron. What what the Quran is saying mm. here? It's a metaphorical that I am the one who sent the messengers. I am the one who sent the books, and even the iron you use for war, I send it to you. And the Muslim they make a miracle of it. Desperate. Yeah. What about the other uh, bits that it says, you know, the sun uh, goes about on its, you know, own rotation, you know, like rotation. So like it says in the Quran that the sun has its own uh, course. So, the you know, it's explaining what? about the sun the, having its the sun, own you course. Mean, you mean the sun? Yeah, the sun, yeah. Your sun. Okay, my friend, the sun in the Quran, the, 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 the Quran never saying rotation. It says, Mustaqarr in laha. Which means it's go to a, a sleeping station. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree with that? That the sun goes and sleeps somewhere? No, no, because the sun is, is is not stationary. It's moving, but the earth is spinning on its own axis. Yeah. But so look, I don't believe that yeah, the sun. But look what the, the Quran says. Look, look, look what the Quran says. And the sun yeah. and the sun unto resting place. Do you see it? This is a Muslim translation, not my translation. Yeah, the sun doesn't rest because the sun's always okay. So, the, uh, so the Quran, part, so the Quran uh, obviously is wrong. But what if it's meaning it metaphorically or the, you know, um, parable? What if it's a parable, like he's saying the sun is uh, prostrating to God by listening to God by you know, uh, by staying warm and everything? What if it means in that way? I'm not sure what do you mean, but but before we continue, uh, uh, we change this. Yeah. Do you know where the sun set according to the Quran? Uh, Moody spring of water. Okay, do you agree with that? No, but like people say that this is uh, from uh, what, uh, what's the guy's name? The two horns. Uh, forgot his name now. Zulkarnain. Uh, Zulkarnain. Zulkarnain. Yeah, yeah. Zulkarnain. Mm. Mm. They're saying that that's from his perspective. Mm. So I don't. I'm confused. I don't know if the Quran okay. means. Let us, let us me. Let us. Let us me and you together read together. I. I yeah. trust. I trust your. Uh, your. Your intelligence. Yeah. Right? And we will read the Quran together. If there is any. No. Is it? If there is any translation you favor, so I can show you a translation you like, or it doesn't matter. Uh, the uh, Hifz Quran uh, translation from that one. Who? Cool. Uh, and any translation okay. is. Uh, okay. Read with me carefully. This is. This is the Quran okay. translation by Muslim. Which yeah yeah okay let us see the translation this is by big tal muhammad big tal you see here i'm showing yeah. you on the screen i don't know if you can see the screen you see the screen uh, one second let me have a look um just hold on yeah i can see it now yeah all right it says it says here that they ask yeah. thee they ask thee who is talking allah they ask thee about dhul qarnayn Say, I shall recite into you uh, some remembrance of him, which means his story. Who is talking Allah, yeah. correct? Yeah. Okay. Lu, we made him strong in the land. So Muhammad saying, uh, you know, the God of Muhammad saying, that I am the one who made him strong. And then, and then he follow a road. Okay. And then till when he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in his spirit. The one who is talking until now who? It's Allah. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So how they say this is from the perspective of this man? If the one is reporting what he found is Allah. If mm. I say that uh, I don't know what's your name. Let's say your name is Muhammad. You Muhammad, you went all the way to India and you find the people there. They like to lo love to eat curry. Okay. I am. I'm mm. reporting what you found, but the found is a yeah. fact. You see? Yeah, yeah. Not he, uh, he thought. Yeah. He didn't say he thought. He said he found it. The second you found, say he yeah. found it, that's mean this is a find. This is and he agreed mm. with it. This is why you say he found. You didn't say he thought. Yeah. If he thought, well, Allah, I want to correct him. Then he will say, and he thought that the sun sitting in the murky water, but he did not say that. Mm. He said he found it. And look what it says too. If you notice with me, 
yeah and this is the problem most of us when we when we read something we don't uh, think deeply and I want you please to think deeply with me it says till yeah. when he reach the the sitting place of the Sun who is the one talking Allah yeah he did not thought it is a sitting it, until he reached the sitting place of the Sun so Allah is saying that there is a place where the Sun set yeah okay sitting place not only sunset this is not a view of appearance it is a sitting place why because next to it he found people who they are like this yeah there in that place okay. he found people so this is a place this is a location and he found yeah. it he found it sitting in a muddy spring this is Allah reporting now this is alone is not enough. Maybe a Muslim can play games still. He say, oh, it's not a clear. Let us go to the hadith. What about Muhammad? Explain this hadith for us. What do you think? Oh, yeah, the, I, I heard of the hadith where one of the companions of the Sahaba, he asked the Prophet Muhammad that... Uh, this is the hadith in front of us. Read with us, please. It says... Is it Sahih hadith or is it... Uh, yeah, yeah, this is Sahih. Sahih. This is a fat hadith. I was sitting behind the messenger yeah. of Allah, S A W S F M uh, uh, Mercedes Benz, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, "Do you know where this set?" So the man, he was asked by the prophet. The prophet is showing his knowledge, like Muhammad, he liked to show off. Like I know you do not know. So do you know where this set? Said this what the sun. I replied, Allah yeah. and his apostle know best, and Muhammad he loved to hear this. Like you have to say to him, you and Allah knows best. So no, no, that's <laughs> it. So he said it's set in a spring of warm water. So how the Muslim lie to us and say that this is from the uh, house of Qurnayn, he thought. Muhammad explained that. Do, do the Muslim knows more than Muhammad? No, no. Okay. Are you going to stay as a Muslim after this? It's very hard for me to uh, stay as a Muslim after this by okay. seeing this uh, horrible like it's it's almost, you know, too stupid, if you know what I mean. Okay, Allah is too stupid. I agree with you. But are you, are you, with my respect to you, are you too stupid to stay in this garbage? No, no, I'm more intelligent than that. Okay, so are you out of Islam? Yeah. All right, that's wonderful. But, uh, but uh, I warn you, leaving Islam, that's mean you will not get versions. <laughs> I'd rather not have virgins. I'd rather leave Islam, and because I, I even have other tr trouble with Islam, you know, like about the paradise, you know, saying you'll have a little boys, you know, that's for homosexuals, and you know so that like, means you don't you like know, boys. What about it, men? The Prophet he promised men. The Prophet he he promised says, men as well. Yeah, in the heaven there's an there's an there's an uh, uh, a market where you can go, yeah. and the, in the market there is a. Uh, 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 you know there is uh, images where you come by uh, like mm. or let us say uh, you like an image and if you like the the man or the woman in the image uh, you jump uh, you jump inside and you have sex with the, with whoever is inside the, the heaven read with me carefully it says yeah this is Jamia at Tirmudhi it says Ali narrated from the message of Allah indeed in paradise yeah. there is a market which there uh, there is no buying, no selling. Yeah, sorry except. about that. I just got cut off. It's Indeed, okay. in paradise. Yeah, your voice now is a lot better. It became higher. That's good. So, indeed, what in paradise. Sorry. Okay. Uh, there, are, there is a market in which there is no buying, no selling, except which means there is buying and selling, but only the only product is images of images. men and women. Do you see the word men? Yeah. Okay. So what the images are? Men and women. Okay. So whenever a man who is the customer, the customer is a man, correct? And yeah. Right. Yeah. So whenever a man desire an image, he enter it, which means to have sex with it. Okay. So what we saw here that in the paradise of Allah, there is images. And the images are for men and for women. But the customer is mm -hmm. what? The customer is a oh. man. The customer only man, right? Yeah. Okay. So the customer is a man, and there's two product. One is images for men, as we see, and one is images for women. So mm. if the man desire to have sex with any of those images, which is images of men and women, 
he jump inside the image and he have sex with it so yes Muhammad he teach you know that in the heaven of Allah you will be a homosexual that is very like uh, if I must say it's very disgusting and you know I don't think a prophet of Almighty God can say such uh, horrible and disgusting things like that well you know time. Muhammad he's trying to be nice actually here maybe you are a gay and you like to have sex with men so he's trying to make you happy I mean come on show respect to the Prophet the Prophet he liked to show you that you like men in our heaven we have men you like boys we have boys you like chicken we have a chicken you know like what do you want you know it's like a uh, yeah but he, but here you notice Muhammad is opening the door of the fantasy business Muhammad he was way before like I don't know why the Muslim don't make a movie about this because Playboy exists yeah. more than 1400 years after Muhammad but the fact the first Playboy magazine in the history it was the magazine of the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him this is a magazine this the whole bazaar has nothing except images you know? And yeah, what the no, images, the obviously the those images are for naked men and women and you go and you have sex with whoever you wish I mean that's I mean the prophet theory he have a very nice imagination and he have a very nice promises and I encourage yeah. all the Muslim to believe in him I mean images so not only we will have 72 versions and uh, at least and uh, 80,000 little boys no, we will have in the top of that we will have Images and if we like the image we jump inside the image and we have sex with it Bloody hell. Yeah, that is very very bad. All right, so my friend as long as you decide to leave Islam What about you? What about what do you think about Christianity? Well Christianity I've uh, you know I've thought about it and it's you know, how come there's so many mistakes and contradictions in the Bible you know mm. let, let me let me let me tell you something when somebody says yeah. to you there's contradiction in the Bible do you think the Christian did not see the, that there is what you claim what people claim they are contradiction don't think we yeah don't know? okay so how we explain that we don't leave Christianity if there is a contradiction what happened is that people when they try to make contradiction they come with it but it's not there as an mm. example they say to you in this book here it says that David he have etc horses in this book it says he have etc horses it's still not that will not change anything anything because one day me I have one dollar in my pocket second day I have ten dollars in my pocket the guy yeah. is alive and he is living this is not he did not build his house right away so when people they describe they try to find a contradiction and the contradiction is silly secondly what they call contradiction does not make it ch change anything about the belief let us say I am writing about uh, David and then I say David he mm -hmm. have uh, uh, 100 horse and you are writing yeah. you are a rabbi and you wrote he says David he have 200 horse that will not change that David was there and worshiped the same God and that did not change that God when he speak he did not make uh, 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 the, the mistakes if I if, if ever those mistakes is exist that's the mistake of a writer you see that we believe as a Christians that the Bible is written by the hand of a man which mean it's a yeah. man it's not God so the mistake will be if God said something and God mm. was wrong that will be a mistake if a man so the Bible is not is not the word of God it's uh, it is no no uh, when we say it is the word of God does not mean that every word there is God speaking no as an example the Quran yeah. is saying the Quran but the Muslim they say the Quran is every word is a word of God because supposedly the one who report the story is Allah and the Bible no yeah in the Bible when God speak this is the word of God God is speaking when Satan speak this is the word of Satan but yet when in general we say the, the Bible is the word of God otherwise mm. we will find verses in the, in the Bible says that Satan he said correct so certain yeah. he said there's no way we will say that this is the word of God but because it is in the Bible we say all oh, the book is the word of God but if all it's in front of us it says Satan he said do you understand me yeah yeah, yeah. But like so we don't uh, have we don't no, have like, so the, the mistakes yeah. they are talking about I don't agree with, with those who claim this uh, uh, thing in the same time right in the same time the Bible is book of books and those books written by the hand of man and what is from God is what God said as an example God yeah. he said to Moses that is God speaking Moses said say that is Moses yeah. speaking Christian Prince he said that Christian Prince speaking like a Muslim he will come to me he says do you know in the Bible it says uh, it's allowed to have sex with your daughter that's false 
the Bible reports in mm. a story about two daughters have sex with their father because there's no men around. They want to have kids so they can survive. So they and this is uh, the uh, prophet Lot. Yeah, but this is not what the Bible says. The yeah. Bible did not say that God He says to them, "Go and have sex with your father." That's a lie. So when the yeah, Bible no, that's, report, that's, that's a lie. That's yeah, a lie. the Bible report a story, but the Muslim they use it to say the Bible allow because they are not yeah. being honest. But I can show that from yeah. the Quran and the interpretation of the Muslim scholars that Muslims in chapter twenty-five, verse number. Uh, 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 52 it says that you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery a Muslim is forbidden for him to have sex with his daughter that's let us make it clear but if yeah. she is a daughter from adultery you can have sex with her so this is in Islam not in a Christianity in that Christianity, is another like very disgusting thing that you know when I heard uh, from one of your previous debates I found it very you know uh, disgusting Like what? Like you know the the fact that you know if you have a daughter from adultery, yeah, you can. So, have you, so you saw that in the like, debate, right? You watched this debate. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that debate. Yeah, and uh, that is very like uh, if it, if it's true, that is very disgusting. It is true, my friend. Everything we say, we show, we show on the screen. You know, you know, you know what I do. Okay, I have I have another uh, uh, question for you, CP. You know, like in the Bible, it gives the genealogy of. Uh, Jesus right hmm. and then uh, it gives another genealogy so it gives two different it gives one for his father is not father the stepfather Joseph hmm. it gives genealogy to say he's come from uh, King David hmm. and then it says after that it says but uh, it's not his real father anyway so what was the point the point is the that Jews, no, that genealogy no the Jews my friend the Jews when somebody okay, Jesus is born of who of a mother and a yeah. father by by birth which means the yeah. jews or what they see that there is a guy because the uh, uh, joseph was engaged to marry an engagement yeah. for the jews is the same as marriage but with no sex yet they must mean, marriage yeah, yes yes yeah. so like in this muslim they say cut big tab like you know you say and stay in your home and today yeah. we organize the wedding and we you know you come to my to my place you live with me now yeah. Uh, uh, the Messiah he answered about that. This is the genealogy according to the Jews. The Jews they want to know who is this Jesus, his son of who. But Jesus yeah. is, is not the he is not from David, really. Like the Bible says, yes, he is a son of David. But and literally, the answer can be in Matthew chapter 22. If we go in Matthew chapter 22, it says that Jesus himself he asked the Jews. And let me get the verses for, for us and submit it on the screen. Yeah. So look what Jesus said. This is Matthew chapter 22 he come to the Jews and he said to them what do you say of the Messiah what do you say about the Messiah now the Jews here they don't know that he is the Messiah so he's asking them what do you say about the Messiah they said he is the son of David hmm? he is the son of David and then mm. then he says so well if he is a son of David uh, then how how David he called him my uh, my Lord you know yeah but like and here by the way that, that, and here in this verse like I'm quoting actually not, not, not the verse I want but if you read on the screen with me here I don't know if you can see it mm -hmm. but as the Pharisees were assembled Yeshua asked them and he said what are you saying about the Messiah so now somebody will say, okay, this is a contradiction. The Bible says that the Messiah is son of David, but Jesus says he is not the son of David. No, Jesus is not saying he's not son of David. By birth he is, but by reality, he is the God of David. Okay, look what he said. They said, mm -hmm. he said to them, what are you saying about the Messiah? Who is son is he? They were saying to him, the son of David. He said to them, and how did David by the spirit, and look here, by the spirit, Call him the Lord Jehovah. Call him what? The yeah. Lord Jehovah, which means my God. For he said, the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, sit in my right hand until I place your enemy under your feet. Therefore, David called him the Lord Jehovah. How is he his son? So here you see that Jesus saying to the, to the, to the Jews, okay, I'm born by birth from mm. the seed of david but i am not not, as, not not from the seed the seed here is just the lineage like by birth okay the jews they know his mother is mary 
his father yeah. is is, uh, is Joseph. So he is, um, this is their lineage, and it goes all the way to David. So, okay, by birth, he is from David. But all of us, we knew that Jesus said, before Abraham, I am. So he exists before David. He exists before Abraham. He's, and that is why David, he called him God. And here, the, this is the response for the Muslim who says, where Jesus says, I'm God. Don't the Muslim say, show me. I tell you, like she's like, no, I tell you, any Christian. Yeah. If he can throw me one verse in the Bible, it says that this is God worth me. And you cannot find one. Okay? So the Christian cannot find yeah, one verse do, in the they... Bible that says, Jesus says, I'm God. It's all over. It's all over in front of us. So we are Jesus, mm. I am God. Well, here we go. Jesus saying, this is the one is talking here is not the disciple, is not Paul, is not John, is not Matthew. It is Jesus himself is speaking. Mm, but then... Yeah? But then isn't like... The, so Jesus if if Jesus is the Messiah then why hasn't he fulfilled the all the promises of the Old Testament like what how oh, he's not for, for, for instance uh, he's supposed to rebuild the third temple right uh, the Messiah is supposed to build the third temple no he died before he he did this and no, you know remember he, he was about, supposed he to says, do he said, a he few said, other my friend, my friend, fulfillments that, as well okay listen he said that the temple, the temple, the one he's talking about, yeah. he says the temple, I will build it in three days. He's talking about himself when he will be crucified and he will come back to life. This is the holy temple. This is his body. So he was talking about his body. This temple, you destroy mm -hmm. it. I will build it in three days. And this is about his resurrection. So always don't come with the conclusion by your own, you know, understand what Christ is saying. Yeah. All right. So I invite you, my friend, as long as you decide to leave this time, it's up to you. But I invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior because you might go to sleep and never wake up. You never know. To be honest, uh, I need to think about it more. And uh, are you going to be uh, online live tomorrow? So I can I call am you. I'm almost here every day until those people in the chat kick me out. <laughs> okay. okay uh, CP, I'll. Uh, speak to you soon all right my friend think about it and okay, you, you, are, you are welcome to call me anytime and happy for you that you decide to leave islam thank you <laughs> you're welcome take care yes, bye so you know thank you lord we have a muslim already i think he's from india he left islam already that's wonderful and i hope soon he will he will accept his uh, you know his salvation and he will be saved <laughs>